Um, I saw a movie that was a borderline religious experience for me, but apparently I was the only one and I've been saving this since Saturday. I am fucking livid over the reviews of Batman versus Superman. I mean, livid, my friend. Okay. It's bullshit. I, it was a great I feel, movie. I feel like they're fairly just. You did not see the movie. No, I did not. What have you heard? What have you, okay, you've read the bad reviews, though. What have you heard? What have you heard about the movie? I haven't read anything about it other than I know it's getting really shitty scores from everybody. And the Mario Brother movie from the 90s with John Leguizamo uh, out, you know, outscores it on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, and that's a goddamn tragedy. Because this is, I mean, it had everything that you would want in a superhero movie. Now, most of the things that people have said is, uh, A, it where there was no joy. That's a big criticism. There was no joy in the movie. It wasn't fun. Well, fuck it, well, man. It's, it's why can't they reboot. make a... Well, why can't they make a serious comic? Why does a comic book movie have to have Robert Downey Jr. cracking a, a dick joke every five minutes? Not that I mind that, but can't you have a like a badass well, comic no, book movie as well? I don't think well? that's a problem. I, I, like, I would think... Everybody came off of the Nolan trilogy and gritty, gritty Batman, and they're just taking it to the next level. Wait till the bad guys show up after Suicide Squad. They're going to make one with all the Justice League versus the Suicide Squad, and they'll all fight it out. It's going to be great, man. It's going to be great. And that's what like sucks is that like they gave you everything that you could want. I mean, you had Batman, and I, best Batman I've seen since Michael Keaton. Batfleck, which I thought was going to suck, Batfleck was amazing. Uh, beats them all. I heard like Christian neck. Bale, I thought, sucked as Batman. I heard his time. neck doesn't move. Well, he's in a giant suit, like a big, like yeah, almost it's, like it's um, weird. Where like he has to turn his shoulders anytime he wants to look around. I can't. I can't say. I didn't notice that. Um, I was too busy, you know, enraptured by him fighting Superman. Uh, Superman and Batman. I mean, Batman. Everything they say. Oh, Batman used guns. Batman's not supposed to use guns. Batman never killed anyone. Batman, Batman doesn't guns. shoot people. And Batman has killed a lot of people. This whole well, Batman, like, Batman doesn't like shoot people in the head and kill them. No, but he, he has no problem like hanging people or throwing them to the bottom of the river or like sneaking a bomb back onto their plane. You don't think that killed everybody anytime he did that shit? When he blew I up. I didn't know Batman did terrorism. Well, I mean, look at, okay, look at the Nolan trilogy. Yes, he doesn't kill the Joker, but I'm pretty sure through his actions of flying through the city and shooting rockets all over the fucking place, he killed a couple there's, of people in that, you know, in those instances. There's, when, you know, there's definitely innocent bystanders who he, Batman accidentally batarang in the head. Yeah, he's killed a lot of people. Just, he never kills the bad guy. They always drive through like, it's like they drive through... And the Batmobile's always like firing off guns yeah. and, shit. and explosions, and there's fucking fire and buildings falling. And where the uh, you think there's? Did they evacuate the one, city every time the bat signal goes up? There's not one janitor, one, one janitor somewhere that was just mopping up and accidentally caught an explosion. Or he, he, he got a bat copter to the face. Definitely caught a bat copter to the face. And then they also do this thing where they say. And it's the problem that you, what you were just talking about in the movie, it was my one qualm with Batman v Superman was that because man of still, everybody was mad. They were like, well, Superman just destroyed half the city to stop Zod. He obviously killed a bunch of people. Yeah. So whenever they have these giant fight scenes in Batman v Superman, they, it was really took me out of the movie. There was always like one like person with like a headphones, a headset on, that would like be looking into it like a computer hacker type guy or looking at right. a surveillance video. And he always do something like that part of the city's uh, evacuated. Thank God there's nobody working at night right now. They're, they like every time there was a giant <laughs> they, scene they like that. They explained away all the, the superficial deaths. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they felt like they had to cause a man is still, and I was like, no, who gives a shit? Give me just badass shit. I don't care. Kill all the innocent bystanders you want. Like they might as well be foot soldiers to me. Just in and out for no other purpose than to be blown up. Who gives a shit? Um, but Batman was awesome. Batfleck was awesome. Uh, Superman. I mean, he's Superman. Superman's so, kind of like, to be uh, to be honest, Superman's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, and I don't know how this, like, I was about to say, like, why are they fighting? Because the thing to me is, 
Superman is a god. He can shoot lasers and like travel through time. Like, how does he not win the fight? I assume they shake hands and they make it all better and kiss and hug it out. But you want, I'll, spo- I'll I'll throw some spoilers at you. If you okay, don't why? Shit. Yeah, why are they fighting? So Lex Luthor has set up this whole thing. Why does Lex Luthor like, have hair? He's not bald yet. He gets bald at the end of the movie. Oh, okay. This is like this is like young, like twenty three year old, like uh, social yeah. network Mark Zuckerberg Lex Luthor. Right. And uh, he wants to set up this giant fight between Batman and Superman so that they kill each other. I mean, that's what he wants to do. So he well, so they frames both, they they both exist in the same world, and they've been existing there for a long time now. I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's how the Justice League, I mean, in the DC comic book universe, Gotham is uh, in, essentially it's in New Jersey, and uh, Metro, uh, Metropolis is, is New essentially New York City, yeah. So they're across the, you know, across, across the, the like New York Harbor or yeah, whatever. The river, yeah. Yeah, that's how it is with Gotham and Metropolis. Okay, so they've just been neighbors this whole time, so the whole time Batman's been out there zooming and powing the Joker, Superman's been flying around the city Banging random news reporters. Yeah. And so like, but the thing is Superman is treated by a, like a God. Batman sees him as like, there's already a little bit of uh, friction there because Batman doesn't think any man should have that much power and he doesn't quite trust him because he's not a, not a person. He's not a man. He's an alien. Right. Um, and Superman thinks that Batman has gotten a little carried away with his vigilante justice. Like maybe okay. he's like needs to rein it in a so little bit. So they need bit. to have like coffee together and talk it out, and yet That's they, a, they go to blowing each other up. Because Lex keeps he frames Superman for like doing a terrorist act, and then he sends a letter to Batman to make Batman pissed at Superman. So <laughs> Batman's just like, "That's it, we're fucking going to town." And so I assume there's um, a montage or something, or like Batman gets his ass kicked, and then he has to build a super suit or something. All right, I cannot believe sometimes how fucking close you are. So there wasn't like a, he he didn't get his ass kicked by Superman, but when he decides he's going to fight Superman, it does have a Rocky style, like punching the frozen meat. I need to train and build a new suit of armor and all this stuff to prepare for the fight. Yeah, so that's it's got one of those montage scenes with the, to be the best, you got to be the best, to be the best in the world, you know? And he's like, you know, lifting tires and doing weights and all these things like that. Right on. And uh, so he beefs up, gets the super suit, and, but he also get, builds a, uh, he steals, because Lex Luthor found uh, kryptonite, like actually like the stone kryptonite. Yeah, there, there's and shards so, of it on the, uh, the earth or whatever from the explosion of his home planet. When it crash landed, yeah. yeah. So um, Batman gets some kryptonite and makes a fucking kryptonite spear. And uh, also, and what, what, what a spear! Is that really the way he chose to go? Yeah, he makes a kryptonite like he like uh, carves like the head, like almost like an arrowhead but larger. And he literally carves just like, like a, ties it to a stick with some string. It's one hundred percent a kryptonite spear. <laughs> and then on top of it, he's got these little bitty like gas kryptonite balls that he can shoot with a gun, but they're just kind of like gas. They're not like full kryptonite. The powdered crisp- kryptonite. Yeah, so he starts firing those off. And the thing is, this is what I thought was cool. Batman fucking beats the shit out of Superman. Because every time Superman starts to get like something going, boom, kryptonite, boom, kryptonite. And then Batman has a Superman on the ground, is about to stab him with a a kryptonite spear. And then they do the thing where they realize, hey, this got out of hand. Let's talk it out. Because Superman tells him that Lex Luthor has kidnapped a, a... Superman's mom and is like framing him unless he kills Batman and brings him the head of the Batman and they both realize okay, so oh we've been how do you used. blackmail Superman Aren't, he's Superman he kidnapped Superman's mom yeah just turn like, back time and make sure you're at home when he shows up and like punch him in the face he didn't do it I don't know if Superman doesn't know about the time travel yet or whatever but um it was amazing so they they work it out. They talk it and out. They're like, dude, we should like like we should start a club. Yeah, man. What are we gonna call the club? Oh, the Justice League. Yeah, we got a little cool headquarters. He man, woman hitting club. Uh, not quite. They basically go like Batman goes sorry, Superman goes sorry, and they go let's take this out on Lex. I'll save your mom. 
Let's go fuck some shit up. So they go, okay, let's do it. Boom. Now, the whole time this all this shit's been playing out, Wonder Woman's kind of been hanging, right? She's like there. She, she lives in Nebraska, right? I don't fucking know, dude. This The whole time she's in like Metropolis just hanging. Like it seems like she came for like a weekend trip when all this shit was going down and was just like, she's a superhero, they're a superhero. So she's kind of like, huh. well, I feel like if we're going to fight somebody bad, I'm, I'm in. You know, like I've yeah. got time this weekend. Um, <laughs> and so then Aquaman it, just beaches himself and shows up. Well, it doesn't. So the rest of the guys, the Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman are all in the movie, but they're like on this hard drive that Wonder Woman and Batman find because Lex Luthor's trying to track down all the superheroes and kill them all. Like he wants to kill them all. And so they find this video of Aquaman in the ocean and he like destroys a surveillance camera and then swims oh, away really fast. So it's just, it's just like a cameo. They're not in it. Yeah, that's why the way they did it was actually pretty good. Because when I heard about all this shit, I said, they are cramming too much in to this movie. You can't that, That's fucking, what I thought too. But it's just a little, like it's a blip. It's Aquaman's in it for five seconds. The Flash is in it for five seconds. Cyborg's in it for five seconds. Who the, who the hell is Cyborg? Cyborg is like this dude that, well, I had to read about him afterwards because I actually didn't know he was a Justice League guy. He's like a dude whose parents were like scientists. And they didn't pay any attention to him, but one day is like he loses his arms and legs, so his parents like build like robot arms and legs for him. Oh, he's Jax from Mortal Kombat. He's Jack. You just nailed it. He is also African American. He is Jax. He's one hundred percent Jax. So, um, let's see where was it? So they decide they're going to take on Luke Scott, Lex Luthor, not Luke Skywalker. <laughs> so they go to take on Lex Luthor. We're taking Tantooine back, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, and then Lex Luthor uh, builds this other guy because he had like a backup plan, which was if they if they don't kill each other, I'm going to unleash Doomsday. And Doomsday is this like super crazy, like bad guy. And he unleashes Doomsday and Doomsday is just tearing up the city, going to kill him. Superman's fighting Doomsday while Batman's saving uh, Superman's mom. So what, what, is, Doom- what is Wonder Woman doing this whole time? She is also, she's with Superman fighting Doomsday. And she's fucking the Ooh. most badass. Doomsday does look like an interesting character. Doomsday is a hell of an. Interesting I, I don't know what he looks like in the. Well, maybe this is from the movie. Let me see. If it's like looks kind of like uh, CGI Godzilla CGI, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, yeah. I got kind of a kind of a Goomba look. Um. Yeah, he's just a big, big dude. Kind of gray. Yeah. Looks like he may be stonish. He looks like a Goomba from the Mario movie. Definitely got a Goomba thing about him. You're right about that. Maybe a nin- and, one of, uh, maybe he looks like one of the new Ninja Turtles with the noses. He, he feeds off of... God damn it. Did I say... I'm just told the whole movie. Did I say spoilies? Ever? Yeah, in the very beginning we said we're just going to ruin the whole movie. Never spoilies. Okay. okay. Spoilies! <laughs> I always do it after I ruin something. So then uh, Doomsday and Superman are fighting and Wonder Woman's got like, she's badass, dude. She's got like a sword. They always play this kick-ass Amazon music when she's on the screen and she's got her fucking lasso of truth. And it's all the cool shit that she is like unleashing on Doomsday. She's almost more badass than Superman and Batman. And then uh, Batman, after he saves Martha Kent, shows up to help fight Doomsday as well. So it's Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman fighting Doomsday. Superman decides he's going to fly Doomsday into the like space, right? And like send him into orbit, I guess. Yeah. So he picks him up and they're flying him up into space. And then the president or whoever, like, you know, like the dude from Independence Day shows up. Right. And uh, they'd say, and this is where I went. This is the most badass movie I've ever seen. And no one has talked about this in any of the reviews. And that's why I'm defending Batman V Superman. Uh, they say, like the president, they go like, what should we do? And they go, let's nuke them. And they fucking launch a nuke. At Batman the, and Superman and Lex Luthor. At Superman and Doomsday. At Superman and Doomsday. Oh. In space. So they oh, okay. launch a space nuke. Like Superman is flying up into space with Doomsday, right? Right. And then, like, the president goes, 
well, fuck it. They're out of orbit. Like nobody's, we won't hurt anybody. And this is another one of those scenes where they're like, well, if we do it in space, no individual bystanders, uh, no innocent bystanders will be uh, casualties. Except or whatever. for all the radiation that'll rain down on earth. So then <laughs> they don't worry about that. So they fire a fucking nuke. They nuke Superman, nuke Superman and doomsday nuke them. And Superman <sighs> survives and doomsday doesn't No, doomsday falls down to earth like a meteor. The thing they don't know about Doomsday is he feeds off of energy. So when he goes down, they just made Doomsday stronger. Classic Power Rangers twist. What a twist. Exactly. Very M. Night Shyamalan. Meanwhile, up in space, Superman just went Benjamin Button, and he looks like 900 years. Oh, he got old. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, he got old. Yeah, the opposite. He went opposite Benjamin Button. So, um, he got super old, like a prune, like a raisin, and he's just floating like dead no, old not, Superman. Wouldn't in space. Superman get stronger as well? He's powered by the sun, which is a nuclear reactor. I don't or know. It's a, it's I know a fission, he got, it's a fusion, fission, fission, fusion reactor. I, I thought he was just super. I didn't think he was powered by the sun. No, yeah, he, he gets weak. Like the kryptonite weakens him, and he has to go out into the sun because our human the sun or whatever, the Earth's sun, powers him that's why he's super because on his planet his planet was so far away from the sun that they were all just like normal dudes but when he came to earth our sun gives him the ability to fly and all that shit is that for real yeah wow something i didn't know um yeah so it doesn't matter he's nuked he's benjamin button up in space just wasting away and doomsday's down and now wonder woman and fucking Batman are like, holy shit, like, we got to get that kryptonite spear This is back. when Apache Chief rolls in, and he's like, yeah. what, 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 what? And he does his clap, and he grows up into a super giant tall Indian guy. Well, they uh, what they did is they had to go get the kryptonite spear so they could stab Doomsday, and they're going to get it. And then somehow, and I don't really remember how it happens, um, but somehow Superman starts, like, Wolverine regenerating, like, as, like, he, now he is Benjamin Button. Well, the, now he's going, he's true Benjamin Button. He, I guess that's what it is. He's sat in the, you're right, he's sat in the sun, and he goes from old Raisin ben, Superman to young, virile Brad Pitt Benjamin Button Superman. So then he flies back down, grabs the kryptonite spear, and he goes, you know what? I may not survive this, but I'm going to, because he's already like, he can't hold the kryptonite spear because it hurts him, right? Right. He's like, fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to build Bruce Willis Armageddon myself. Right? So he grabs a kryptonite spear, flies into doomsday with it, hits doomsday in the chest. Doomsday is dying on doomsday's way out though. He has like this, like velociraptor Jurassic park claw and he sticks it into Superman's chest and he fucking murder death kills Superman right through the chest while he's dying. So doomsday's dead. Superman's dead. No, oh, that's it, awesome. Is the, I'd, I would love it if they just killed off Superman in the first movie. They killed off Superman in the first movie. And uh, it's like, it's based on the death. It's the cover for anybody that in the 90s or 80s or whenever it came of, out remembers. Yep, the death of Superman comic. It is the cover on the fucking movie screen. They made this, the comic that I saw when I was like in fourth grade that I went, there's no way you can't kill Superman and I was like riveted by this comic book. They fucking that came to life on the screen. I was you know, like a twelve year old kid. Where his cape is like a flag and it's all tattered and flying in the wind. Or where like Lois Lane is holding his like dead body. Lois Lane is holding his dead body. His chest is ripped open, like the Superman suit is ripped open and yeah. his bloody chest, and then he's dead. And yeah, that's this that that image is on the fucking movie screen. They made that real. And then they bury Superman. And then uh, they go to this funeral. Oh, really? They like, give him the it's fucking, not like a, we're going to bring him back next week. It's, it's, he's like dead. They killed Superman. Well, no wonder and why everybody end, hates it. Then Batman went, I failed him in life. I won't fail him in death. And him and Wonder Man, or Wonder Woman, suicide pack and they off themselves. <laughs> they just fucking stab themselves with. Uh, doomsday's velociraptor claw on the chest and just go to town no they uh what happens is they say we're gonna find the other people like this and we're gonna save people from here on out so the end of the movie bum 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 you see the superman casket 
Batman and Wonder Woman are going to go find Aquaman, Cyborg, and The Flash, and they are going to fucking start the Justice League credits roll. That's the fucking movie. It was amazing. It was great. It was one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. Greatest comic book movie I've ever seen, hands down. And for people that thought it was an incoherent mess, uh, I would ask them to please go watch Avengers 1 again and explain it to me because I still don't know what the fuck happened in the first Avengers movie. So that is my, I felt like I needed to defend Batman V Superman. It was amazing. Everyone should go see it. Greatest comic book movie of all time. 